Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your 2022, right in Oakland mayoral candidate for 2022. Well, yesterday uh, at five o'clock, we had a shootout here and it was uh, an attempted uh, carjacking or uh, theft of a business, uh, their truck and trailers. Uh, and they were here quite a while, those thieves. Uh, they pulled up, uh, it threw a red flag for me because they were in five vehicles, five, five vehicles, and there were eight people. Uh, and out of those uh, five vehicles, none of them had a license plate, none. And, and they're all fairly new. Uh, one of them was actually uh, a brand new Ford F-150 electric blue in color. And the group was was all wrong for what they were attempting to, or what they were appearing to do, which was uh, be business owners. They wanted to buy a truck, they wanted to buy a trailer. And so, uh, long story short, shootout uh, came when uh, one of the characters drew a, a weapon out at the owner and asked for the keys for the truck. And so rather than do that, the owner threw his phone and uh, glasses at uh, the perpetrator with the gun and ran. And in the, in the meantime, while he was running, they, he's uh, yelling carjacking. And then uh, that's when all hell broke loose. And, and uh, the group here that was uh, part of the, the thieves, the car theft ring, it was a mixed group. There were in their 20s. They're all 20-somethings. Nobody was over 30 years old. So that was another big red flag uh, for me <clears throat> is these, are, these folks did not look like they wanted to be in the car carrier business because of the way they were dressed. They, they weren't dressed like business owners or uh, to deal with automobiles. And so anyway, it was crazy here. I had just gone in to start uh, eating my dinner. Mayorio candidate Albert Owens was just leaving when all of that happened. And, and I know it was a scary situation for everybody, but if you're, if you're uh, never witnessed or never been in uh, a situation where there's bullets flying, you know, how, what, did that uh, really shake you up there? Oh, it shook me up some, you know, all I heard was bullets flying over my head. So I had to take my car and park it behind the building to all the smoke clear. And once the that that incident stopped, then another incident stopped, started back. Retaliation. And that was more spooky than anything. After that fact, you know what I'm saying, me, I was picking up supplies to go feed the homeless. And I was stuck there. I didn't want to move until the smoke was clear. After I figured it was clear for about 20 to 30 minutes, then I pulled out. I wasn't taking no chances. Yeah, I I I've been in this situation many times here. Uh, it, it took a while uh, for me to be hardened to, to what I'm seeing and witnessing, but it, it's a scary situation because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, the bullets could suddenly come your way, uh, which was my biggest fear. And, and so this is a regular occurrence. This is why we need to get homeless folks off the streets, off the uh, out of the gun sites of criminals you know, that are plaguing our city of Oakland. Thanks for joining me today. We'll be right back.